and we're good to go. Next, in the view did load method, I will just delete all of these comments because we don't need those, okay? Now, look at the class definition over here. We have class photos table view controller, that's good. And what does this subclass from? Why subclass UI table view controller? That is one thing you have to uh, notice, okay? Below here, I will delete the didn't receive memory warning. Next, Xcode already generates a bunch of methods, a bunch of code for us. So let's talk about that a little bit. The mark here is table view data source. Well, what is that? Well, our table view is trying to display a list of things, right? So um, the table view needs data to display, right? We need data. We need uh, we're trying to display a bunch of photos. We need a bunch of photos. We're trying to display all in the contacts. We need the contacts. So now those data in the table view format or in iOS, it's called data source. Okay, data source, the source of data. So in order to populate all of these data into the table view, we will have to implement at least two methods, at least two methods. The first one is not this one, but this one. It says table view number of rows in section. Table view number of rows in section. The second method is this one. It is in the comments right now. It's called table view cell for row at index path. Okay, so it means we will talk about this later on, but remember that we have these two methods that we have to implement. Then all of these comments way down below, I will just delete that because we have we will not use this, okay? Or at least right now we will not use that. Now before we move on into the code, I want to mention, let's say we are talking about this contacts app. Okay, this is the contacts app in our iPhone. It's also used a table view. See, table view is used everywhere in our iOS. Now, the first one is you have to we have to mention is the table view app. It doesn't just list out all of the things. It will group things into section. So the first one to mention is section. A section is like a table view has a bunch of section or an array of sections, and each section will be indexed as zero, one, two, three to the number of sections in the table view minus one. Just think about the index. Uh, just think about the array. The array has the first element indexed at zero, and then n minus one. Right? It's the same here in the table view indexing. Next, we have rows. Each of the sections has some rows that we are specifying, and each row in each section has the index from 0, 1, 2, until n minus 1. Okay, it's just like an array. And the fact is that because we are displaying a list of things, so the data source usually, most of the time, I think 99% of the time, it is an array. Okay? Just that straightforward. So let's say before we're moving along into the advanced stuff of this part training series, let's create something first so that we understand the basic concept of table view in this video. And then moving along, we will learn so much more, okay? Now first, I'm going to create an, a list. Let's say we want to display a list of our to-do, okay? We want to create a to-do list. So I will have var, to do's equals notice it is an array and how about I want to do here maybe things like uh, shoot uh, table view videos that's my to do I want to write emails to you how about I want to create new course new total iOS blueprints course and how about I want to learn Swift I want to view iOS apps, okay, etc. All right, now we have four of those things. Next, we want to display all of these to-dos onto our table view. So the first one, the first method over here, you will see override, okay, because this method belongs to something called a UI table view data source. 
uh, protocol, okay? Don't worry about those things. I try not to explain those things because I want to simplify stuff over here. Just think of it. All of these methods are from this UI tail view controller. 